Okay, Engineer 775, we're going to start our rain catchment system from scratch. Uh, I've got a 12, 12 metal roof so the water comes flying off of this. And so the gutters to put on something like that can't be your standard gutters from Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, you need at least a 6 inch commercial gutter. And so, so I got these guys, uh, J and C uh, gutters, J and C uh, gutters and services. Um, local guys we're working with here to um, basically build the gutters and they've got their extruder right in the trailer do any color any style and uh, we've been talking about rain catchment with them so one of the things that we're looking at is putting this leaf for leaf on here what's nice about this is that it locks in it makes a really strong gutter everything's crimped in I don't know if you can see that and then even when the water comes down and hits this it's got like a little dam and the water will back up making sure you don't lose any so that's one continuous piece 42 two 42 footers of seamless six inch aluminum gutter so looking forward to working with these guys Charles and Jeremy on some future rain catchment systems this is uh, this is the prototype um, I'm gonna try to catch as much water catch all the water should be about 700 gallons per inch off of this roof and then I'll show you the uh, diverter first flush system we're going to do capturing it to a tank and then we'll um, actually not just capture it but we want to pump water out of it with some uh, with a, a Dankoff flow light pump that's my goal so if you wanted to live completely off the grid with just rain water it is possible and hopefully this will be the start of a system that um, you might want to implement at your place Alright, it's Engineer 775. Thanks for watching. Engineer 775, wanted to show you a rain catchment system working in the rain. I don't know if it's gonna, gonna work. This camera is not liking this. Okay, we'll try it. Alright, just put up new gutters and I put a first flush diverter system in here and it's full now. And I have it coming from both sides of my roof and the first flush is filled and the water's running into the tank and so what I'm trying to do here is make as clean a water as possible I'm going to show you a real cool skimmer oh this thing is unbelievable see that skimming down there I got a p-trap skimmer and it is skimming this full tank of water this is awesome this thing is just working incredibly um, getting soaked, but we're singing in the rain. All right, I hope this shows up, but we're having fun with rain catchment today. I'll go into more detail. I'm going to try to make this a fully potable water system. A 1,200 square foot roof. I'm going to be catching 900 gallons of water, and uh, hopefully, I'll show you the final results. But so far, this thing is working great. I've taken, should have done this a long time ago. Anyway, uh, before I fry the camera, I'm going to stop. I'm going to try to stop. I wanted you to see this uh, skimmer in action. I don't know if you can see it, but it skims off all the floating particles and pollen and bugs. And it's just working awesome. This is a uh, one way to really clean out the tank. I'm also putting in a uh, floating extractor. I'm going to be using this to pump from. And so this will float four inches below the top of the surface of the water. And that's the cleanest zone in a uh, rain barrel, in a rain catchment system. It's four inches from the top, roughly. And also, the way I have the water coming into this tank, I don't know if you can kind of see it kicking out there. But I have it splashing in, so I'm aerating the water that hits, um, fills this tank. And the skimmer skims off any floating particles, which is really, really cool. Um, so between the, the gutter guard, I'll keep this camera dry. In the gutter guard, in the gutter, the first flush diverter, the skimmer, the splashing uh, aerating on the water, and then this extractor here. Uh, got a real good source of of rainwater, probably about as clean as you can get. It. Oops, excuse me. 
Now because there's so much activity going on in this tank, what I'm going to do is manifold two other tanks uh, left and right of this system. And so uh, it'll be 900 gallons, 900 gallons of uh, rainwater for this system. I had to go with smaller tanks because I drive through here a lot with my truck and trailer or tractor and uh, so I went with small tanks to keep it tight up against the building. There's so many different ways to do a rain catchment system. This is just one way. I like it because there's at least uh, four things going on there to make it clean. And the fifth one would be that I'm gonna the tank that's going to go to the left here is going to uh, be the tank I pump out of. So there's a lot going on with the moving of the water. This is going to be a real stable tank here over to the left. I'm going to extract the water off of that tank and the one on the right is just will be just for extra capacity. So that is the plan and uh, really enjoying this rain catchment system. And uh, I don't know if you have any questions. Um, now you could do a buried tanks of course. Um, just kind of wanted to do it above ground and uh, you kind of see everything working. I've got a one inch line coming out of here, not a spigot because I can't really get a bucket under it anyway. But because my land falls away here, I'm going to have, I got a one inch line coming out, which I will gravity feed to the chickens. So they'll have a automatic water based off of rainwater. And I'll also have an extra watering tank, or I can dump it in the cattle trough. So, um, looking forward to being able to, to water my livestock and as a backup to my springs and pond and well pumping systems. And the rain has been the rain catchment has been the one I haven't even worked on here. So, so I'm um, I'm excited. Okay, folks. I'm just gonna this gonna be a tag on to the video, just taking this off and showing you the the ball that is inside the first flush diverter that floats up, floats up inside of here, hits a seat, and then the water will divert over to the tank. This is floating in that dirtier water. So um, this just uh, goes back in here. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. That thing back up in there. No, nope, I was Oh, here we go. Okay. All right. And this has a 0.25 micron uh, hole in it. Inside there's a disc, and the water will start emitting out of there. So once this thing fills up, uh, the water will divert into the tank. So pretty cool system to get rid of the, any of the bird droppings, pollen, bugs that are in the gutter that have been maybe sitting in a little bit of water and uh, bacteria levels high. Uh, this system is great for just getting rid of that, just flushing your roof, washing your roof off, and then take what's after it's full, uh, you take it over to the tank. And I'll just a tag on to the end of this video. Okay. Okay, I'm going to see if I can film this without getting the camera soaking wet. I've got a 24 by 24 section of metal roof at the top of my house. And then I've got the gutter coming down with a regular A elbow, swings down, then it kicks to a B, and then it wraps around that fascia, then comes down, and kind of snakes around the whole thing down to a diverter. It's a manual diverter, where I'm going to eventually run it into this, this rain barrel. But right now, I'm running the water out. I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to do this, but I just wanted to dump the water. As you see, the water dumping into my swimming pool nice and full. So uh, that's working real well. And again, I have this manual. Whoops. Reach it down here. Just pushed it over, and the water's diverting out. This will, this water would go into the rain rain barrel eventually. And I have that four inch opening here. So. I'm going to raise this tank up on some blocks and some stone and uh, when this thing overflows this, this tank's just 165 gallons and I will, I'm going to dig out, I started digging but got rained out. I've got a French drain in here that goes out into the woods already buried so I'm going to tee into it with the rain barrel overflow 
and get this 165 gallon tank full of rainwater from this diversion here. So I'm going to flip the lever back. Lever right there. It's diverted. So that stops running. And the water's going back out into the into the pool. So this is fun. Um, it's an affordable way to collect water. Um, it's cheaper than drilling a well. And if you already got gutters, you're way ahead of the game. I didn't have any gutters on my home, so I had to put a 42, well, no, that's a 24-foot section of gutter up there. And then this little diverter system. But, uh, okay. I think that's, that's all. I'll show you finished product, but you get the gist of what it's going to do. And uh, save me from having to fill the having to fill the pool from um, when the, it evaporates off. So just do it when it rains, fill the pool up, and see if we can get through a whole summer season without having to add any water from a well or from any other source. All right, thanks for watching.